Right. Yeah. Welcome back. So uh, uh, we are trying to solve for the rate. Yeah. By using trial and error method. But first, we try using the time value table. Yeah. In order to do that, okay, let's uh, get this uh, pointer. All right. Now we take this value here. Yeah. The present value of NVT. This is ten thousand divided by the payment that you make every month which is 207.58 so you get this value here yeah? and this must be equal to this which is actually the present value interest factor annuity r percent 60 periods yeah so if you look uh, look at table a3 in your appendix and you look at the row number 60 yeah and look across the row and see whether you can find this value yeah? okay you find that the lowest yeah the the lowest r which is one percent yeah one percent and 50 yeah you don't have 60 yeah 60 is not available uh, in the table okay you have only 50 50 periods and one percent this is the lowest interest rate and this is the highest number of periods you cannot go beyond that yeah and that value is 39.1961 yeah, which is less than 48.1742 this is what you want okay you're looking for this value but the highest value that you can get okay is 39.1961 yeah? so it is too low this value is too low you want this value yeah? so because it's too low you want a higher value you must use a lower rate yeah this discount rate it must be lower then only your uh, present value will be higher yeah and therefore we want this present value per payment yeah? to be higher and therefore you need a lower discount rate you cannot use one percent yeah one percent will give you this yeah too uh, too low yeah so you need to uh, try a lower rate so that you get a higher value yeah all right therefore you need uh, this uh, use of the time value table tells you which rate to try yeah? this rate is 0 0.5 yeah? you cannot use 1% because 1% will give you this value which is too low okay that means 1% is too high yeah so you should try a lower rate so let's try what is lower than 1% okay we can go halfway let's say you uh, divide this by 2 you get 0.5% let's try 0.5% yeah Therefore, if you try 0.5%, you get 207, this value here, this is the payment, multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus R, this is the trial, try, okay, this is what you try, yeah, the trial rate, 0.5% raised to the power of negative 60, yeah, this is the 60 periods that you are going to make the payment, divided by 0.5%, you get 10,739.19. This is higher than the 10,000 that you want. Yeah? So here, the present value of annuity is higher than present value of annuity wanted. Yeah? So I put an asterisk here. This asterisk refers to this 10,000 that you need. Okay, But this 10,700 is greater than. Yeah? So it means that this rate that you try is too low. Yeah? Okay, So you need to try a higher rate. Yeah? So you try... 0.75 percent this is what we mean by trial and error yeah this is too high now this is too low then you try somewhere in between yeah not one percent not 0.5 percent so you need to try a higher rate 0.75 yeah so if you try that then you find that it is very close yeah you use the same number here okay 207.58 the only difference is this yeah you replace this with 0.75 percent here also replace this with 0.75 percent the rest will be the same and you find that this is lower yeah you try a higher rate the present value of annuity will be lower yeah so therefore it is 9999.83 this is very close yeah to 10,000 so we can say that okay uh, r is equal to 0.75 percent yeah so this is how you get the answer using trial and error method yeah finding the rate using trial and error method okay let's move on to the now let's summarize yeah the the steps that you need to take 
uh, this uh, in finding the trial, yeah, the, the sorry, the rate, yeah, finding the rate using the trial and error method. Okay, so you need to try a rate. This rate, yeah, can be informed by using the time value table, yeah, just uh, like we did just now, yeah. But you can try any rate actually, yeah, not necessarily based on the time value table, yeah. Once you have tried the rate, then you compute the present value of that NAT, yeah, right. Then compare the computed present value with the required present value. Alright, so there are two possibilities. One is the computed present value is greater than the required. Yeah? That means you have used a lower rate. Yeah? Therefore, you need to try a higher rate. Raise the rate and then compute the present value again. Yeah? Then compare again. Yeah? So this is how you do this. Yeah? Compare the computed present value with the required present value. And sometimes the computed present value will be less than. Yeah, when it's lower than, then you have used a higher discount rate. Therefore, you need to use a lower rate, reduce the rate. Then you compute again. Yeah? So you come back to this. Yeah? So you can do this several times this way and also this way. Yeah? You do it several times until yeah, you get the computed present value equal to the required present value. Yeah? At that rate, then the uh, rate that you tried, yeah? Where the computed rate is uh, sorry, the computed present value is equal to the required present value. That rate is actually the interest rate. Yeah, that is how you find the interest rate using trial and error method. Yeah, okay, and we'll apply this in an example later. Yeah, and we have done that for the previous example, but we just did it very quickly. Yeah, uh, we'll do it in another example which will demonstrate this. Yeah, further. Yeah, all right. Let's move on to the next. Uh, slide okay and here let me just push the all right yeah? so you have this computed present values are only slightly different from the required present value yeah okay this is when you use manual trial and error method and we use interpolation yeah something called interpolation when do we use interpolation yeah uh, sometimes this trial and error method can be very tedious yeah? you can keep doing it until yeah forever yeah and you don't get the exact rate so to make things easier we have an approximation method we call this interpolation and trial and error method can you give you an exact rate yeah if you go on long enough you will come to a rate which is very close to the actual rate yeah? so it's quite accurate but because it's too tedious and then we have an uh, estimation yeah or uh, and uh, easier method and we call this the interpolation yeah uh, what do you call it um, and we get a rough rate yeah rougher rate yeah which is closer to the actual value yeah right or something close enough okay so approximation yeah that was the word I was looking for approximation yeah all right now compute uh, the computed present values are only slightly different from the required present value this is the first condition yeah you must meet this condition first then all right yeah at the higher rate the computed present value is only slightly lower than the required present value so this is a, this condition and we say we describe this into two yeah this is condition one this is condition one a if you like yeah then the second thing is at the lower rate because we say uh, the computed PVs, yeah, two present values are only slightly different from the required present value. At a higher rate, the computed present value is only slightly lower than the required present value. And at the lower rate, the computed present value is only slightly higher than the required present value. Okay, so this is 1A, sorry, so this is uh, condition number 1 and this can be broken down into two, 1A and 1B. Yeah? So this condition is actually the same condition. Yeah? Uh, which is from here now the next condition is the difference between the higher and the lower rates yeah, that you try must be small yeah so in this case what is considered as small okay less than 0.5 percent yeah is considered as small all right yeah right then you can use interpolation if you have these two conditions condition one which is one a and one b then this is condition number two yeah so if these two conditions are met, then you can use interpolation, and that interpolation is this formula. Yeah. 
Now this formula looks a bit complicated, but it's actually a very simple uh, proportionate formula. Yeah. Now let me explain this. This is the uh, interest rate that we want to solve. Okay, is equal to the interest rate, the, the lower interest rate. L here stands for lower because there are two interest rates. Yeah, uh, higher and lower interest rate. This is the lower interest rate plus. Okay. Now this is the present value at the lower interest rate, <coughs> excuse me, which will be high, yeah? It should be the higher present value minus the required present value. Okay, this present value O is the required present value, yeah? Divided by the present value uh, at the lower rate, which is which will be higher, okay, minus the present value at the higher rate, which will be lower. Yeah? So the higher value minus the lower value. Again here, the higher value minus the lower value. Yeah? Alright. So this value, okay, the present value O here, the, the required present value will be will be between this. Yeah, this is the highest and this is the lowest. Okay, don't be fooled by L and H here. Yeah? L stands for the present value uh, obtained using the lower rate. Yeah, that is why it's L here. Yeah? But the present value will be higher. Okay. All right, then this multiplied with the higher rate minus the lower rate. Yeah? So this is the difference, yeah? difference in the rate, yeah? higher rate minus lower rate. So this is, when you this, this difference multiplied by this proportion, okay, will give you the addition to the rates yeah, that you get, and that will be the R. Yeah? So this is the interpolation formula. Let's try and apply this. Yeah? Okay, we come to the end of this part and we'll apply the interpolation formula here shortly. But let's look at the first example here. Yeah? You want to receive $5,000 per month for the next five years. Yeah? So, how much would you need to deposit today if you can earn 0.75% per month? Yeah? What are the three elements? Yeah? This is a clearly an annuity problem Okay, because $5,000 per month is an annuity. Yeah? Note that this is the period is month. Yeah. Okay, here it says five years, but because this is month, five thousand per month, so it's a monthly payment. Okay, this is payment, yeah. The first element known is payment per month. Now this must be converted to months as well. Five times twelve is sixty, yeah, sixty months. So that's the second element that is known, yeah. Now, the third element that is known is 0.75% per month. Yeah? So, this is the interest rate. Again, this is per month. So, all are consistent. The payment is per month. The year we convert this to months, 60 months. And this, the interest rate is 0.75% per month. Yeah? So, these three are consistent. So, what is the unknown? How much do you need to deposit today? So, this is the present value that is not known. Yeah? Present value is not known, but the payment is known. The term is known and the interest rate is known. Yeah? Therefore, you just apply the formula. Present value of annuity is equals to 5,000. Okay, this is the payment. Multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus R, 0.75%. Raised to the power of negative 60, yeah? which is 12 times 5. Yeah? And divided by 0.75, <coughs> the value is $240. Uh, $1,000, $866 and 87 cents. Yeah? So that's the answer. Alright, for the first part. Now we come to the second part. Yeah? What monthly rate would you need to earn if you have only $200,000 to deposit? Now it's the same problem. <coughs> In this part, the interest rate is given. Yeah? But here the interest rate is not given. And the present value is given. Here the present value is not given. How much do you need to deposit? The present value is not known, but here the interest rate is given, but, sorry, the interest rate is not given, yeah? but the present value is given. So we just change this slightly. Yeah? So how do you solve for this? The unknown is the interest rate. Remember the interest rate, there is no formula for solving this. We can use the uh, spreadsheet or the financial calculator. Yeah? But let's try trial and error here. How do you, which rate do you try? <clears throat> if you use 0 0.75, you get a high present value. Yeah? You have only 200,000. So you must try a 
higher rate. You cannot use 0.75. Then what higher rate can you try?